Hey, welcome to another episode of Church in Five, where in five minutes or less, you will get some revelation, inspiration, or motivation to get you closer in your walk of faith with God. I am Michael Lairs, founder of BasisForSuccess.com, and in this episode, I want to talk about how to find God. The name of this episode is Seek for God Because He is Searching for You. The main theme is how to find God. So let's get started. Let's read 1 Chronicles 28 and 9. It says, As for you, my son Solomon, know the God of your father and serve him with a loyal heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searches all hearts and understands all the intents of the thoughts. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will cast you off forever. Now, what I really want to focus on is how to seek God because it says if we seek him, he will be found. So what are the steps to seeking God? Now, they all can be found right here in this verse. So I hope you have your Bible open on your phone or have a Bible next to you because we're going to go through this verse and break it down in five minutes. Now, there are three steps to seeking God. The first step we want to look at in this verse is you must know the God. Not a God, but the God. You must have personal knowledge of God and you must know that God is who he says he is. So what are some of the things that the Bible says he is? It says that he is the only God and there is none other beside him. That he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our eternal damnation. The second step is you must serve. There are two requirements to serve him. Now, you know you have to be saved, right? That's not the part I was going to include, but I just wanted to throw that in there just in case y'all guys didn't know. Now, the first requirement to serve him is you must serve him with a loyal heart. That is simply saying you must have spiritual and moral integrity. You must be completely dedicated to God and sold out to him. Even when you fall, we repent and we go back to God no matter what. We stay loyal to God. The second requirement to serve him is you must have a willing mind. Now, willing mind is actually two things here, your will and your mind. So the first part is your will, which we will say is you making a choice to serve God. And the second part is your mind, which is actually your soul, who you are. It's yourself, all of you. So willing mind is basically saying you must make a conscious decision to serve God with your whole self with everything you are. Your mom, your dad, or your pastor can't make it for you. You must make the choice. The last step, number three, in seeking God, you must seek God first. Before we make any decisions, we must seek God. Not after we have already made the decision. We don't wanna ask God to bless our mess because we already made that decision. We want God to keep us away from the mess and take us straight to the blessing. This must be your first priority in your life. In Matthew 6 and 33, Jesus says, but seek, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. So we know we must seek God because this is a part of finding God. And seek simply means to try to find. Just like in school, when you're trying to find an answer, you begin to go through your book and search and seek for the answer. But now you know the proper way to begin your search for God. And that is to know God, to serve God with a loyal heart and willing mind, and to seek God first in all things. But now, here's the amazing part. In the same verse, it says, For the Lord searches all hearts and understand all the intents of your thoughts. Now, the significance of this word searches is extremely important because that word searches is actually the same word seek, where it says, if you seek him, he will be found by you. It is the Greek word, Darash. Yes, thank you. So it really says, for the Lord seeks all hearts. Are you catching it? Do you remember earlier I was saying, you must have a loyal heart and a willing mind is one of the requirements to seek him? Let me show you in Deuteronomy 4 and 29. But if from there you seek the Lord your God, you will find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. The reason God can be found is because he is looking for a heart just like yours. 
Watch this. In 2 Chronicles 16 and 9, it says, For the eyes of the Lord move to and fro throughout the earth, that he may strongly support those whose heart is completely his. The only reason we can find God is because he wants to be found. And he has given us the requirements that him himself is also looking for so that he can find us where we are while we are seeking him. So the only thing left to say is seek the Lord while he may be found. Hey, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed that episode of Church of Five. So here's a couple things you can do on this page. You can watch a previous episode. You can subscribe for our upcoming episodes, which will be released daily. You can get our free report, how to position your life for freedom. You can find out how to find your passion and you can get my book, Just Move, Your Life Depends On It, free. So whatever you want to do, go ahead and click away. And I just hope you have a blessed day. And remember that success is up to you. Thank you.